Uh, I would love to see him versus Rum Nitty or Hitman Holla. Uh, right now, I ain't gonna lie, I got Hitman Holla beating Loaded Lux. After what I just saw, after what I just saw last weekend, we used to rap it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Yeah, beloved. Yeah, beloved. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, because we got to speak. You already know who it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let nobody get too far ahead. You know who I be following me on IG. Gang, 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 gang. Lux, I hear you. I hear you. But this is what I wanted, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been getting word that I've been getting word that Lux heard what I heard, you know what I'm saying? Because shout out to my girl, Nikki Knowledge. She had made a post the other day that said, who all got... Loaded Lux beating Rum Nitty 3-0. I said, who y'all? Who y'all? Screw y'all. I never knew y'all. Who y'all? Knock him off the corner. Cue ball. I ain't. I don't, I don't got him winning no 3-0. And I heard that Lux said I talk a lot. I do talk a lot. I get paid to talk, though. You know what I'm saying? Beloved, the fastest way to haul him is the A-Train. Lux is one of my favorite rappers ever. But I do hold him to a high standard. I set the ball, not reset the ball. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I got a channel, I got my own handle. Shout out to everybody out there that watches this content. But Lux, there's a such thing called recency bias. I've seen Rum Nitty air fry people damn near every week. He just literally battled like two weeks in a row. He beat Jazz and then he battled like the week before, then he battled on Summer Madness, then he battled on another joint. I see you like once a year. The once that I saw you was versus Gigi Gotti. I know you're not putting that work up on the board to tell me that this is the comparative analysis. This is your comparative market analysis right here? I know it's not. I know you better than that. Huh? He 100% feels like he could beat you. He it's not nothing know. that he haven't seen before. He's seen pens. He's seen... He said this. This is what he said. This ain't wildin' out, nigga. This ain't that. Like... All of that... Performance shit. Mm. But see, Hitman, you know, though, even if you can't go to them depths, you in the stand, you know what it take to do this. You know you ain't no nigga like that, not when it come to me. Now, I'm not just talking. Whatever you doing as far as TV land and all of that shit, cool. We not, you know what I'm saying? But if we just talking about skill set and skill wise and all of that, and we really break down to where nigga get to turning their face up and no, that that really was degree of difficulty and shit like that. You ain't, you ain't no nigga like that. This man cannot fuck with me. In I know you can. I know you forever can rap, but I know you better than that. I know you better than that. See, the thing is, I hear what Lux is saying. And shout out to Hip Hop is real knowledge of God. Everything that they got going on, I did see him down in Atlanta this weekend at the. Uh, Max out join. I told him, you know, I be using clips. You know, I be using clips. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's nothing more than promoting and pushing the artists to get to bigger platforms and bigger pedestals. Because the thing is, when we break down every round that I've sketched about, there's nothing slicker than the tools in the rusty shed house. You niggas came here playing. They gonna leave here giving head counts. They ain't even book you niggas rooms. I told them all the hospitals giving beds out. Lux, we need what you can do in smaller rooms or in more comparable cards. Why we can't never see Lux on a volume? Why we can't never see Lux on like a regular car? Like you, it's always the biggest shows, main stage events, gotta be summer madness, gotta be this, that, and the third. That's the thing, people feel like you done got so far into what you got going on that you don't even seen on the ground level, huh? Like, you know how Lux be talking. His energy ain't never met me to meet on that plane yet, but when he gets to that thing and we meet at that level, you know, because everything else is going to level out below it, but he got to reach the pinnacle. See, the thing is, he hasn't got the nuclear molecular electrons to get him to that, like, dog. What about the rap? I just want to hear you rap. I done been through more Jet fans than in the Meadowlands. Can I get that? Can I just get some regular punches, no extra sauce on it, and just rap with a nigga? Can you show me that you could beat a nigga in this era? Can you beat Danny Myers in this era? No hoopla, no extra sauce on it. Go show me you could beat Rum Nitty, you could beat a Hitman Holler. See, the thing about Hitman Holler is I hear what you're saying about Hitman, but I seen Hitman in person like fucking four or five days ago. I feel like he damn near won the battle. It's, the, it's really a super debate. It could be edged either way. I edged it to Will 2-1, but Hitman Holler had a fucking performance that was worth talking about. And he got a lot of people that felt like he won. Do you feel like you could beat him in that situation? 
That's all I want to know. Do you feel like what you got in the can, in the tuck, is better to be than what we just saw? Without no strings attached, no distill, the distill, my water got to be distilled. And all. I just want you niggas to rap. I love Loaded Lux. I love what he's able to do. I love what he's brought to the culture. But at the same time, my recency bias does kick in. Hello, ma'am. I got a beautiful one-year-old here. You know what I'm saying? Just hanging out, chilling the day. You want, oh, you want my water? She want my water. Get her that water. Get her that water. Get her that water. Oh, here you go. We got some company for the day, you know what I'm saying? FTK, feed the kids. Shout out to everything that's going on out here. That's why I'm gonna keep the cursing to a minimum, you know what I'm saying? We, we out here feeding the kids, taking care of the families and things like that. But Lux, yeah, I've seen you cook people on the highest level. I've seen that before. I have seen you do that. But yeah, recently I have not seen these things happen. And it's like, you know, uh, the other guys who you're talking about, whether it be Rum Nitty or whether you're talking about uh, battling against any of these elite pens, we wanted to see you versus B Dot. We wanted to see you versus Danny. We wanted to see you versus a lot of people. But it's like, I need to see you in the strip. Can I, can I get a quick fight from you? I'm just saying. Because the JC thing was a thing a couple years ago, but JC kind of fumbled that bag. I totally get it. Uh, you and JC was a thing. I spoke to you about it at Summer Madness 6. We spoke about it. And it was something that you was going to do. You know what I'm saying? You was definitely on board to do it. But you didn't. You wound up not doing it because JC took too many battles. You know what I'm saying? Like he was taking 100 battles a week, and you said to him that you wasn't. You wasn't with that. You know what I'm saying? He was like, Ah, I'm not gonna battle nobody whose value is wearing out. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna say value is wearing out as in ain't no good no more. You want exclusivity to y'all situation. I totally get it. I know. I get it. But at the same time, it's like. Rum Nitty cooking right now. I'm changing stations like Cleo from Set It Off while I sit in the lat. Mm -hmm. Like, can't listen to that, that, nor that. Right. This for a set. Because uh -huh. I'm really finna pop jazz, mm. leave the country, mm. then it's a rap. <laughs> Hitman Holler was air frying last week. So, after a while, the rubber gotta meet the road. If you gonna beat these guys, like, oh, cause look at, look at, look at, look at this. You were supposed to battle daylight, like, four years ago. And every year around Christmas, y'all gonna set the battle up. You're gonna do it on your own yeah. platform. You're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. And it never happens. And after a while, people just get tired. Like, I, I, when I hear about you versus daylight no more, I don't even care. I'm be honest with you. I do not even care no more. Because y'all been doing so much back and forth, and then they never even went nowhere. Not even announced. There's no announcement. There's no flyer. There's no card. So some of y'all, when y'all be getting to certain positions, it's like I hear what you're saying, but this is what I have to go off. But at this point in his career, it's like that's gonna have to happen down in, in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like the streets. The streets want to see a battle on a lower level. You know, you can get busy. We know about the big stages. We know about everything that you got going on. That. That right, <laughs> when I'm looking at what Loader Lux got going on, you know what I'm saying, I like what he's able to bring, I like how he performs, I love his lyrical ability and content, and what he's able to do at a high level is one of the best ever, you know what I'm saying, like he's one of the best ever, if not the best ever, one of the logos, but at the same time, what have you done for me lately, do 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 do, ooh, ooh, ooh yeah, do 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 do, hey. What have you done for me lately? Oh, she wanna go. She said she's out of here. She said, uh, I'm gone, I'm gone. That was uh, Amari making a little uh, guest appearance. And when it comes to Rum Nitty, like, he do it every single week recently. It seems like he has no frets. And the punches that he's able to bring is at a super high level, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could punch with the most elite performers, line for line for line for line. Lux battles him, when you're looking at recency bias, Rum Nitty has done a lot more in a shorter time frame. Hitman Holla just coming off of Ill Will Battle, which is literally, it's a classic. I hear all of these niggas, especially a lot of niggas that's affiliated with other leagues saying that the battles is not classics, classics gotta be proven in time, and booty 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 boo, and all this other shit. Look, fuck their opinions, we don't wanna hear that shit. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone, I like most of y'all. The battles was fire. It's okay to clap. It's okay to clap when somebody scores that's not on your team. I keep pushing the same notion. Just because the battles didn't happen where you normally are at does not mean that they're not good battles. 
Exactly. Just because the battles didn't happen where you at do not mean that they're not good battles and don't mean that they're not classics. You know what I'm saying? Y'all try to move the goalposts whenever something happens somewhere else, but that's just not what's going to happen. Um, but I do love the fact that the talking has got Lux to talk. See, the thing is, certain MCs, when they get to a high level, they don't really even respond to nobody. They don't say nothing. They're not really in social media. They don't really go outside and say much. They'll come out and battle whenever they do, but it's not a lot of talking in between time. To see Lux talking and in his bag like, yo, this is not TV, this is not Wild and Now, I don't know what you thought this was. Yeah, talk like that. Talk spicy like that. That's what we need. We don't need no humble rumbles. <laughs> That's a good one, too. We don't need no humble rumbles. We want to hear motherfuckers talk. We want to see promotion. We want to see cats out. Stuff that makes us excited, that makes us want to go in our, car, our, our wallets and swipe our cards in order to purchase these events. That's what we want to see. But a lot of the times... A lot of the battlers nowadays don't know how to promote, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to transition out of the uh, Loaded Lux subject. Uh, I would love to see him versus Rum Nitty or Hitman Holla. Uh, right now, I ain't going to lie, I got Hitman Holla beating Loaded Lux. After what I just saw, after what I just saw last weekend, I got Hitman Holla beating Loaded Lux. Let's, let's do it like that. I do, you know what I'm saying? And if Lux going to beat him, show me he can. He's still one of my favorite. Lux still one of my favorite, period. You know, the same way Kobe Bryant is one of my favorite. But at the same time, at the end of Kobe's career, he was not the same as he was in the beginning of his career or in the middle or in the championship years. I just got to call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. But I'm very interested in the battle and I hope that it goes down. I would love to see a regular card come out without Lauren Lux. Not without no hoopla, not without no big show around it and all of the fucking sparklers and glitters. Can I just get a battle? We know you great. We know you beloved. We know where you at. Can we get a regular fucking battle that doesn't cost $200,000 to do? Hmm? Can a nigga see you ball? Even Kobe played at the damn Rucker, is all I'm saying. It just be too much. Like like I said, you and Daylight. What are we at? Year four in this battle still hasn't happened yet. And then when you battle Gichi Gotti, that wasn't a good battle. To be honest with you, Gichi Gotti air fried you. Doo -doo. Now I know, you know, y'all was, uh, you know, it was late and you was tired and all this other shit, but. There's a certain level of greatness once you get there and you've been there for a while that nobody cares about the excuse. Nobody cares. They don't give a shit. It's why didn't it happen. That's all that matters. But I do think that you have a, a very good ability to get with and, and get by a lot of MCs. But we want to see we want to see Lux from the clothing store. Wanna, is that Lux still around? We want to see Lux that done cook niggas. Because resume-wise, you battle like, what, 10, 15 times? Maybe there's other people battling 10, 15 times a year. That's why people like DNA feel like they could beat you. That's why people That's why people really be like, yo, I could get him, because they don't see you enough. You know what I'm saying? But I rock with Lux. I rock with Lux's legacy. This is just my humble opinion. Uh, if a battle of his does get booked, I will obviously talk about it. I'll cover it. I'll do all of the things that need to be done to promote it. But a lot of the times when Lux's name get brought up, no battle comes out of it. And that's the thing that we be tired about as fans. Because, you know, Lux, you told, I, Nikki told me. You said I talk too much, which is great, or I talk a lot, or whatever the case may be, I do. But the thing is, I like results. If you're gonna battle, battle. Not talk about it, we get all these hip hop is real clips and all of this shit, and three years later, y'all still ain't battle. Why not? What, what are we doing here? Um, And you know, and the battle will have to be promoted right and things like that, and that leads me to promotion. Like, these artists nowadays in these leagues think simply dropping a flyer is promotion. Dropping a flyer is not fucking promotion. It is not. I don't care what league it is. If you think that you could just drop a flyer and sell out a card or sell out a venue or push pay-per-views or do whatever you think off of just word of mouth and your name, it's not going to happen. I'm telling you right now, I've seen a lot of events this year because they think that they got the clout and their name hold weight. A lot of y'all names do hold weight, but at the same time, it don't hold enough weight to where motherfuckers is just going to go in their... their wallets and pull their cards out and pay to see y'all yeah i need promotion behind it where's the videos where's the uh the, the real face-offs not the ones that they just put people in front of each other and they argue and shit and they don't even be, be sitting in front of each other but that's the thing you gotta go the extra mile you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all be at events they be doing live stream and all of that commentary if you just want to battle go talk to the people that you just want to battle with go talk to them let them know how you feel let them know who's the next person or whatever the case may be you got to keep your moves rolling because nobody's going to do it to you or do it for you. I had my, I did the last joint. I got my next joint book already. Like, you got to keep the game rolling. Once you stay stagnant, it just doesn't happen for you. But um, overall, 
Shout out to Beloved Loved Loaded Lux. For I'm gonna get up out of here. Salute to every single one of y'all, man. Gang, 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 on bang. You already know what the going on. See, I didn't even curse for the verse. Yeah. He cannot fuck with me in no He 100% feels like he could beat you. He it's not nothing that he haven't seen before. He's seen pens. He's seen. He said this. This is what he said. This ain't wildin' out, nigga. This ain't that. Like, all of that performance shit. Look, mm. but see, Hitman, you know, though. Even if you can't go to them depths, you in the stand. You know what it take to do this. You know you ain't no nigga like that, not when it come to me. Now, I'm not just talking. Whatever you doing as far as TV land and all of that shit, cool. We not, you know what I'm saying? But if we just talking about skill set and skill-wise and all of that, and we really break down a, 